usually around seven months of age, what has been defined as canonical bubbling or reduplicative bubbling or repetitive bubbling appears. Uh, if we consider what we have called marginal bubbling, marginal bubbling was almost uh, a sequence of syllables, but when uh, infants are at the stage of uh, repetitive bubbling, they produce syllables almost exactly the same way uh, an adult would do. Uh, so the timing of these syllables is really now more precise. So infants begin to produce sequences like ba ba ba, ma ma ma, pa pa pa, ta ta ta, and these are, um, these are clear um, examples of canonical bubbling. No parents will have any doubt about um, canonical bubbling because uh, actually sometimes they believe that the infant is producing the first words and these are not yet the first words, this is just bubbling but uh, uh, because they are misinterpreting uh, this bubbling as first words this is telling us that it is very easy to identify this bubbling uh, stage in infants. Sometimes uh, infants begin or start bubbling at the same time uh, when they start making repetitive uh, hand movements. Hand banging, which is a, a typical activity around six months of age, goes along with uh, bubbling. Uh, so what this is showing is that bubbling is a basically motor activity uh, because it requires a very um, subtle coordination between phonation, the capacity to produce sound, and articulation, the capacity to move uh, and block the uh, airflow uh, outside of the mouth. So uh, while for us ba or pa is an easy production, syllabic production, for an infant, uh, for an infant it requires almost seven months um, of, let's say, development and, and gains in motor control to reach this canonical bubbling stage. Canonical bubbling has this basic motor component, uh, but it is also important to have uh, an intact audition to produce and to um, reach the, the bubbling stage. So um, both components, the motor and the auditory component, uh, are very important in bubbling. If we had to find a critical uh, milestone in the first months of life, that would be canonical bubbling. So we expect that around, as I was saying, around uh, seven months of age, seven, uh, eight, even nine months of age, infants will begin to bubble to produce these syllables in this very precise timing, uh, something like ba ba ba, pa pa pa, ta ta ta, that are easily identified by parents. So this is a clear milestone that is related to later language acquisition. Actually, there are studies in which it has been shown that the sounds in the bubbling sequences are also the sounds that will be used in the first words. Infants from infants exposed to different languages might bubble in a slightly different way when they are already experts in bubbling, when they reach the stage of the communicative bubbling uh, that has also been described taking place by the end of the first uh, year of life. Bubbling can be described as a non-communicative activity, at least at the very beginning. But, of course, it can be promoted and in, it, in can, it can be used in interaction with an adult and uh, this is what uh, happens um, at this stage. So the adult can repeat and engage in, playful, in a playful situation with the infant and then promote, help promote this, uh, this bubbling, uh, which is a clear precursor of the first words uh, and of language development. So 
bubbling cannot be taught, uh, uh, but parents can promote um, bubbling because um, although the infants can bubble when they are alone uh, in, in their room, uh, bubbling can be integrated in a playful situation, in an interactive situation in which uh, the infant bubbles, parents repeat and they can enjoy playing with the sounds and the syllables uh, in the bubbling. Bubbling can be integrated in an interactive situation, in a playful situation, but bubbling can also take place in a non-communicative way. And at that stage, it is very important to hear the, the infant bubbling, not trying to uh, interfere or ask him to repeat, because sometimes what uh, the result can be is that the infant might be blocked and stop bubbling. So that's uh, one thing to take into account.